Hey guys, welcome to a new episode with Conflicts. Today I'll be showing you on how to make your own 3D printable case using a Mac as well as a DaVinci Mini Maker. Now, this is for the iPhone phones, uh, mainly the 5 and 5S, 6 as well as the 6 Plus. Now, the 3D printer that I'm currently using is the DaVinci Mini Maker from XYZ Printing. Uh, they have some other printers on here as well, which will be just as fine, but just wanted to let you know that which one I am using. Anyway, so I went to the website called zetoff.com, and literally it's really simple. So you just go ahead and click Get Started, and then you just go ahead and create, pick your custom uh, design. So we'll go ahead and start off with a blank canvas here and click Next. I'm just going to leave the color blue for now. Obviously, it depends on what kind of printer you're using and what kind of ink you're using. And then you can go ahead and create your own custom designs, which is really neat. Uh, so let's just go ahead and just keep it solid for now, just because... Um, now, let's go ahead and do something like this. Now, I already made my own custom case, so I'm just kind of showing you again how to do it. So, for instance, I like that. Uh, then I can go ahead and upload a shape from my own computer otherwise I could use one of their examples like for instance if I like the Batman one and just literally you can design your own case it's so cool and then you can rotate it and look at it as well and then literally you can move it in any direction you want it's really cool if you want to make your own custom logo uh, that's what I ended up doing and then you can always type in your own uh, font as well so conflicts here uh, and then literally it will just type it right there and from there what you do is you go ahead and click next and, and if you just go ahead and click on the tweet button here even though you're not really posting it uh, you can just go ahead and click download for free and literally it just downloaded by itself so from there what you do is you go into the program and you upload it and then you can go ahead and print it let's go ahead and do that and then Literally, once you hit print, uh, you have yourself a new phone case. So let's go ahead and start that up, and I'll show you guys in a little bit.